Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. It's Saturday, August 16, 2014. Not sure if you caught the video yesterday, and if you haven't, I think you should go check it out. Basically, I exposed Beautiful Girl by Dana, the nuclear proctologist, where he was saying that the West Coast is devoid of marine life, and no birds, and no crows, and only four species of vegetation, all nothing but a bunch of BS. Yeah, the name nuclear proctologist sure does fit him well. He's full of it. Now, I'm, this video is not all, not all about him. You'll have to go check it out. And I'm not done with him. I'm going to be posting more information, but I'll be doing it on my website uh, on a daily basis, hopefully, as he makes his videos every nightly, uh, as he did last night. I'll be debunking them. What I do want to show you, folks, is, again, Google has censored your comments. I couldn't, you know, seriously, there's no doubt about it here. This is very clear. So Natalie McBride here, and it's the same video I want you to see here, uh, 745 views and 63 thumbs up. Okay, it's the same video. And thank you very much. I read all your comments, by the way. Uh, I don't have a Google Plus, and I refuse to, to uh, get a Google Plus account, but I read all of your comments, and thank you very much. I'm glad you appreciate it, and that's why I'm doing it, because someone needs to speak some truth here. We can't let all these people support someone who we all know, us real truthers, know he's a lion sack of scam. Okay, so... As I mentioned here, I, I Google Plus. I, I don't send me bother send me an email. I can't receive any uh, email. I have a YouTube account, but the strange thing you have a YouTube account, you can no longer receive inboxes. So I can't converse with you guys anymore. That's all gone. You'll have to send me an email to cd1. That's connecting dots one. Cd1 at connecting dots one dot com. You'll see it at the end here. But what I want to show you is when I go to my video manager, right? This is what I see. And uh, let me just push this over. Oh, it's gone up by 45 views since I first. Okay, so 65 thumbs up here, 75 comments. And I just want to see, and by the way, there's not 75 comments. Yes, I did delete a couple. And by the way, uh, there's a YouTuber by the name of Traced, a uh, woman here, Traced. Thank you very much. You came out and defended me on the fact that I don't show my face in my videos. You left a series of comments. They're all deleted. I saw them there last night. I got up this morning. Justin Blake, the guy who you're having an argument with, who was calling me uh, this and calling me that because I wouldn't show my face and I'm a donation whore and yada, yada, yada. You came out and set them all straight. Get up this morning. Your comments are all gone. So, I, of course, I deleted all of him, I, all of his. I'm not going to leave someone calling me a bunch of outright lies. So, Natalie McBride, the comment you just saw a minute ago here on that video, okay? Here it is here. When you click on it, you get to read more and you get to see, thanks again for being on top of the bullshit. So Google doesn't want you to see that and they don't want you to see that there's been four replies to it. I'm, I'm telling you, I couldn't make up this. And people are saying, oh, hold on a second, no, it's because there's more comments. Hold on, I'll refresh the page just so you know. Okay, ready? I'm going to refresh it right now. So you can see it'll go up to 65, I'm sure. And there you go, 65, 800 views. I'm not making up this stuff. As I said, I'm not full of BS. And that's why I don't show my face. I'd rather show the data to back up my claims of what I'm saying is taking place on whatever case it may be. Oh, great. Now it's taking a time. Okay. So here they are again. Here, let me go up again so you can see. Oh, same thing. Like, honestly, they're, they're chopping off your comments. Anyways, and they got rid of all of these. And why is that? And by the way, anyone says, you know, that's your buddy, Godard's Journal? furthest thing from the truth. Anyone who says that doesn't know what they're talking about. I've had a hard time with this guy, but he's still allowed to leave comments. You know why? Because he doesn't say nasty things. I like a good, I, I like a good argument. I like to have a good discussion on things, but I don't like it when it degrades to you have to start calling someone, a, you know, nothing but names and you never back up anything. So that's the good thing about Godard's Journal. He's kept his cool our biggest friction and where our fallout was was during 2011 when the results came of the air samples from 60 days of air sampling on the west coast here more specifically in the in Seattle the city of Seattle the results came back that the people in Seattle were breathing in five of those hot radioactive particles every day every person in Seattle for 60 days straight the same results were released in Tokyo that showed the people in Tokyo were breathing in f 10 10 of these hot radioactive particles per day per person for the same 60-day period. So I went on to say in one of my videos, great, that basically leads me to believe that whatever they find in fallout in Tokyo, either on the soil or in the atmosphere, 
will be would be roughly we would get 50 percent of it here on the west coast because of the jet stream so we had a big falling out on that one but you know what i never banned him his comments stayed up he walked away like a man and i we, there was no name calling and i appreciate that and here he is again coming back <laughs> two years later chiming in and basically letting you all know and you can hit the space bar here if you if you didn't read his comments that um, he doesn't need someone to, to, to let them know that or, or someone like Dana coming out and telling you that the whole West Coast has fallen and there's nothing left. He, you know, the guy has enough intelligence to figure out there's thousands and millions of other people here on the coast and if there was fish he was in the, uh, falling apart and there was only X amount of uh, life left here on a very well traveled area called Desolation Sound, people would be talking about it, folks. We'd all be talking about it. And you know, oddly enough, in the video I made yesterday, um, one of the things here, I go walk along the beach and I stop at one of the places where they're selling seafood and I show you that they're selling mussels from where? Desolation Sound, the same place where um, Beautiful Girl by Dana is telling you that everything's dead. There's not, it, it's not dead, folks. Now, I'm going to continue on here because the other thing here that we have his people telling, you know, like the, the proactive approach of Dana and connecting dots. Yes, I've been on this from day one. Dana just showed up, what, uh, roughly nine months ago? Fukushima's been going off for how long now? He just showed up nine months ago? This is part of the reason why Dana and many others are so off on their analysis of Fukushima. This is part of the reason why Dana believes that all of the cleanup at Fukushima was done by homeless people that can't read. And by the way, homeless people can read, but that's another topic. He, he, his facts are wrong. Obviously, he forgets how there was a, a multitude of contracting companies that had hundreds of employees each that were doing the cleanup. I posted stories on this, and eventually how these companies start uh, jumping out of it. They, they didn't want to clean up Fukushima. The employees left, and eventually it was just one contracting company. And yes, eventually we find out that they were hiring homeless people. But homeless people don't. We're not, we're not a bunch of losers. I've been homeless a couple of times in my life. Are you going to tell me now I can't read and write? Like, I could go down with my camera right now and pick up people that are homeless here on town and videotape them, and I'd pull out any book and say, can you read that? Of course they can read. And then the worst thing is that he tells you Reactor 4 has not been cleaned up. Does he not know that there was re robotics? Did he miss all the pictures that were taking as they were cleaning off the top of Reactor 4, number 3? Did he miss all of that? Of course he did. He's only been in for nine months. There's tons of footage to show that they were cleaning this up. Not labor, they had cranes. There was even pictures of cranes on top of Reactor 4. So this whole concept that the building was so shaky and it was going to fall apart with the slightest little breeze, a load of malarkey, folks. I'm not going to buy into it. And I'll tell you another thing, I'm not going to buy into it. When you folks come out here and start saying that the information on energy news and they weren't extreme, I deleted that comment, I'll be honest with you, okay? She's gone. I mean, she can come back here and leave comments, but I'm not going to accept this energy news stuff because I've caught them lying. I'm not saying everything they post is a lie. I'm saying they're doing the same thing as Alex Jones and many others. 95% would be truth, and another, you know, the rest of it is malaki or misdirection. And it happens time and time again with these sites. Energy News came out, it was 100% good, honest stuff, and I could use it in my reports, and now it's turned to shit. Now they're, they're promoting uh, um, Arne Gunderson as a recommendation, and they, Arnie comes to their site when we all know Arnie's a shill. I mean, Kevin D. Blanche, Dana, Beautiful Girl by Dana, many of us are calling Arnie a shill. So why is it that we have these other people like Miss Milky, Missing Sky, and Energy News putting Arnie on a pedestal when we all know he's a shill? This is the conflicting stories that we get within the alternative news. So stay clear-headed here. Stick with people that know the truth and post the truth. And um, yeah, I hate to say it, or I should say I love to say it, but I'm one of those folks. I've been on this since day one. I've been on YouTube way before the meltdown. Okay, so continuing on here, this ebb and flow here, it's obvious here. I read the comments. People don't understand how this ebb and flow goes in and out. So you're being told that all of the radiation was dumped on the West Coast, which is absolutely false. There's pockets of it that have fallen. There's no doubt about it. But we don't know because it hasn't been tested everywhere. But we do know that we're scientists that were up in the Cascade Mountain chains and came without. I came out, I think it was about 3,000 um, soil samples from the Cascade Mountain chain. And yes, they found Fukushima fallout in the mountains. And this is where he's getting this premise that it's up in the mountains and it's all going to be washing down and it's all going to fall into the water and it's all going to be radiated and that's why everything's dead. False, folks. Think about it for a second. If it really did fall, all of it, which it didn't, 
but let's say it did fall, are you going to tell me that all of the radiation that fall everywhere in a mountain is suddenly going to get sucked in every time it rains and it's going to fall into a stream and find its way down? No, it doesn't work like that. The water drop falls in and it leaks into the ground. That's why there's a thing called contaminated soil. If not, if it was just a matter of putting water on the ground and letting it wash away, well, guess what? They'd be using buckets of water at, and they'd have a fire truck at, at Fukushima washing down everything. So, oh, we don't have to worry about it. We just put water on it. It washes down to the ocean. It doesn't work like that. Okay? I hate to say it, but you're, someone's taking the story. Again, last night, he was showing here uh, footage here, and I'm going to get into that. I'm going to be posting this stuff because I'm going to continue on with this thread here, debunking every day the videos that he puts up. So those of you that want to follow the information, I'll post the real information. I'll debunk his videos bit by bit and post the real information at Connecting Dots 1, all on this one thread. It'll be an ongoing thread here. So going back to this premise here, the radiation here, there's no doubt about it, some of it did fall. I did stories here how in, in the Fraser Valley, uh, uh, Simon Fraser University went to one beach, five soil samples, and they found radiation contamination from Fukushima in one of the soil samples, which is the part of the reason why I want to buy a machine, an instrument, to identify the isotopes here in Victoria because of this ebb and flow. Hold on a second, you'll quickly learn what I'm talking about because I've got this figured out a long time ago. I just don't express everything I feel in my short little 15 minute videos because, well, a lot of it would be lost. So this whole premise here that the, the, the water that I tested, which was all taken down here, okay, and along to the shoreline, I finished my video here on the open op ocean, um, was that it's not good because it's invalid because there's too much fresh water. Well, hold on a second. You guys can't have it both ways. Either the fresh water is washing down on the radiation, and therefore it should be picking it up here because, according to you, this is all fr mostly fresh water, which it isn't. I live there. It's all salt water. This whole gorge waterway is nothing but salt water. There's a small little creek up here that feeds a little bit of water, okay? And this is where the herring run takes place. You know, you can go here in February and March and catch hundreds of, of um, herring as they try to get over this little five-foot drop-off here at the Tillican Bridge. So, yeah, it's an ebb and flow tide here. Take a look here. You'll see why I'm at the best place. Hold on. I just want to zoom in one more time here to, to show you where I am here. Victoria here. This is the... The, the island I'm going to be showing you, here's Seattle, okay? Uh, the city of Seattle took the city of Victoria to court because our uh, toilet waste was ending up on our shorelines. This is because of this ebb and flow, okay? Here we go. So many of you have already seen uh, the Fukushima dispersion map, and I'm not going to work so much on the concentration because all of the data that was collected to, to make this dispersion map was based on the initial release. We now know that there's been 400 to 1,000 tons of highly radioactive wastewater that's been dumping in the Pacific Ocean every day for, for the last three and a half years plus. So I don't care so much about the levels, but this is more rather to show you about where the ebb and flow and how living here on Vancouver Island, I'm actually at the perfect location here to do testing on the food, the water, sea life, you name it. Okay, so i start this video here and watch how the uh, radiation comes in here. This whole area, the whole basin, all of Seattle, Washington, even where he's going here, the 200 kilometers here where he's going will be inundated with Fukushima radiation at some point. Uh, what levels, I don't know, but like I said, my donations are not to go on a radiation tour, which by the way, I did in 2011. I funded the whole tour for myself. I think I raised about... Uh, 1700 a little over 1750 uh, that money went to buying uh, the Geiger counters paying for them which by the way I already bought them I went on my Geiger I went on my radiation tour without any donations I hope you guys realize that I took my own money told folks I'm doing this if you want to help out great if not don't worry about it I'm doing it it's the same thing here I'm gonna raise money eventually on my own I'm gonna do my own testing if nobody wants to donate money I'll collect my own money here at some point and I'll buy my own machine and I'll do my own testing of the seaweed the kelp mostly the kelp I'm looking for stuff but food that's going to bioaccumulate the radiation I need to be able to prove that the radiation is coming up here and affecting our food chain I'm not going to go up here I'm gonna go stick where it's nice and strong and there's going to be lots of it Okay, folks, it's only common sense. So I'm going to leave this information here. Everything, um, you know, that you're going to see here on this beautiful guy by Dana, I'm going to put it here at connectingdots1.com. Uh, debunked. I'm going to change the title a little bit, but leave the beautiful girl by Dana. And every day, as he makes a video, as he does every day, I'll post the video down below and I'll debunk it on what he said. 
Okay, just last night he put up a video again. I caught up, I caught a several lies in it, uh, you know, bucky balls and telling him how the 500 miles has all been washed in and one story after another. Anyways, this is where it is. If you want to follow it, take care, folks. Hope you enjoy the information and it's not me censoring you. Remember that YouTube's doing a great job. Take care, folks.